Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I trust and hope that you guys are doing really great. And so we're going to be taking a look at what is going on with our systems out there. We've got Lee, we've got 96L, Franklin's Remnants, and we'll also be talking about what is happening across the Caribbean as well as briefly glancing at the Eastern Pacific where there is now a hurricane. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, so we're starting out with the Eastern Pacific, and there we have our prominent hurricane, which is Hurricane Hova. So Hova has now intensified into a hurricane, and it should rapidly intensify, potentially becoming a Cat 4 hurricane over there. But the good news, it is not going to be a threat to land. It's going to be moving further out into the open waters of the Pacific. And so let's now go ahead and hop over into the Atlantic Basin, and we're focusing on the Caribbean here. So we can see that there isn't much happening across the region right now it's pretty dry over in eastern islands especially but there is a trough that extends into parts of the northern caribbean and uh, that has been inducing some activity across the islands and so as we head through today there could still be some additional rainfall same story as we head over into central america with that daytime heating there's likely to be some substantial rainfall lots of convection popping up across some areas and so please be on the lookout for that as for eastern islands it's pretty dry so we're going to be looking at the dry air map very shortly but we want to go ahead and talk about lee so here we are zooming into the cyclone and we can see that it is nicely getting itself together it has not backed down since becoming a named storm and look at that outflow coming from it we can clearly see that circulation those thunderstorms really getting themselves together within the cyclone so it is taking advantage of the conducive environment and these above average temperatures are only only boosting the system so it is going to be in a very conducive environment that will be allowing for that rapid intensification to take place and as we look at the cone forecast now here we have it the latest this morning it is sustaining winds of 65 miles per hour and uh, moving to the west northwest at 14 miles per hour and around tomorrow night going into friday morning it could become a major hurricane but i honestly think that it will do so much sooner than what the national hurricane center is expecting but let's see how it behaves through today and by the way if you're in the leeward islands you still want to keep watch as stated by the national hurricane center interest there should be monitoring the progress of lee and changes made to the forecast notice how much the cone widens the center can pass anywhere within this cone i won't stop emphasizing this and the center is not the whole system it does not show the size of it so even though it could be offshore it could still in Reduce some impacts if it is close enough in proximity. So let us see what it is going to be doing as we head into the next couple of days. But again, northeastern islands, particularly the Leeward Islands, should be keeping watch. And then for the long term, Bermuda as well, because again, that turn up to the north is expected once that front makes its way out of the U.S. So that northward turn is expected. So this isn't going to continue all the way like this into Florida. That is not expected right now. So let's go ahead and now take a look at the track guidance we see some pretty decent consistency with the tracks a couple of these say that this will be a bit closer to the caribbean than others but nonetheless they all keep it outside the region and impacts will all be dependent on its size and proximity to the islands and so guys now we want to go ahead and look at the conditions out there so we're looking at the dry air map and here we can see that the areas of the denser dry air is represented by the shades of oranges reds and uh, there is a bit of dry air near the system however this is not really going to be impacting it so it is going to be rapidly intensifying over the next couple of days there's nothing much between it and a cat 4 or potentially a cat 5 hurricane that is not off the table and then as we look into the Caribbean, there we can see that we've got some of that dry air in the region. So as we saw on the satellite imagery earlier, there wasn't much happening across uh, the Lesser Antilles, going up to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even the ABC Islands. And that is because the dry air, it kind of helps to stabilize the weather. So uh, we find that there is not much rainfall activity happening within these areas. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our other systems. Here we have Invest 96L, which is southeast of the Cabo Verde Islands. We can see that it has a 60% chance of development over the course of the next seven days and the chances 
actually decreased a bit. It was at 70%, but that continuous northwestward track is expected, and as it is going to be making its way uh, up to the northwest, it could bring some impacts to the Cabo Verde Islands, so uh, persons there could experience some increased inclement weather conditions as the system moves out. It could still become a depression as we head into this weekend, and then Franklin's remnants only a 10% chance of seeing some sort of regeneration, so it's getting increasingly unlikely that it will try to regain its status out there. And so guys, that is what is going on right now across the basin. The main talk of the video, the main deal is Lee and uh, it is expected to become a cat for hurricane and so I will continue to keep you posted on all that is happening with it and that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this morning's update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond once I get the chance to do so and as always, remember to be with wise.